there. Did you hit the line? Yes. Oh, How low? Oh, there we go. We're here a second early because we needed to make sure that the camera can see both of us here sewing today. So, hello there, everybody. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to my quilting live today, Sunday. So, Sunday, where I have my daughter with me to sew on a Sunday. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Yay! So, if you're new to my channel and don't know, this is my daughter, Alexa. She's the one that lives in Tennessee. And she came here for her brother Damon's wedding. And she's here for a week. And obviously, we're going to get her in here sewing on the Pinto. <laughs> <laughs> Pinto. Because. <laughs> She's not used to any other machine yet, so the Pinto is the best for her because she owns one herself. <laughs> so it. it's similar, but yeah, she has one herself. So say hello to the audience, Miss Alexa. Hello, everyone. All right, so today I am working on last week's project in here. I'm going to even just like lower that for a second. We're working on last week's project for me. So I'm working on the batiks the, that I made random blocks. I got to put the rest of the blocks together. I think it's the other side that I'm still working on. I haven't pulled it out of the box yet because first thing I'm going to do is cut some more squares. Alexa did what now? What did you do? I picked out some batik fabrics in browns and greens for the most part. I'm making a skirt for the Renaissance Fair and the skirt is basically a wearable quilt. That's what she's doing. She's making a quilt skirt. So I have to cut her some more squares because she dug through my pre-cut batiks. I was going to call them batiks. <laughs> my pre-cut batiks. She do. <laughs> it's one of those days. She dug through my pre-cut batiks in my scrap bin that were five inches. So I'm going to cut her some more five inch squares out of some more. Uh, of my batik scraps that haven't been cut down yet. So she's going to get some more cuts real quick. And since I'm really quick with the cutting, she could start sewing and talking with you while I cut before I start sewing my you stuff. Hi but before we get to anything, we're going to see who's all here. Thing, you know because I can't change it. Okay. All right. We have Joyce, Karen, Brenda, Chrissy, Deborah, Shirley Ann. Uh, Tamala, Tabitha, I love the name Tabitha. That was one of the choices when I named you, Alexa, <laughs> was Tabitha. Uh, let's see, Donna, Tony, Marianne, Milena, Paula, Terry, Linda, Gerilyn, Candice, Chrissy, Susanna, Joe, Helen, Danelle, Renee, uh, Rena, Sheila, Holly, Carrie, Brenda, Joy, another Nancy, Ellen, Brenda, and so, so many well, more. You're going with names, why don't you so, tell them Danelle is both y'all's middle names? Yeah, Danelle is both our middle names. So Danelle, I've already told you this, you knew my middle name was Danelle, but so is hers. Because I carried on the Danelle name. <laughs> If I have kids that might also go on to that too. Yep. We're, we're trying to carry on the middle name over and over and over. <laughs> so uh, welcome and hello to everybody that I didn't shout out your name. I appreciate all of you being here. So she's going to start doing whatever she does while I cut some squares and then also my stuff. Oh, that's your birthday yesterday. Oh, happy birthday. so I guess I could tell you about coaster. my birthday and I... We rode the roller coaster on top of the New York, New York. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. All the walking, on the other hand, nah. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I got home, we also went for a walk along the, what are you looking for? I'm trying to figure out the flip down. Oh. Right here. That's oh, it's on that side, because mine's on this side. If you chain piece, though, you don't have to worry about putting that up and down. You just put your next piece under. Yeah. Nope, nope, under, mm -hmm. right there. And mine's here, so I'm like, I kept feeling here, I'm like, no, it's not there. All right, how many of each of these do you want squares? Uh, any amount, I think I need more browns. So that one counts as a brown and a green. This one's definitely a brown here. Okay. I'm gonna cut So maybe like standing. Maybe five and ten of each. All right, I need this though, because it's a cutting thing. But yeah, I had a super fun for my birthday. Thank all of you, all of you out there for all the lovely birthday wishes. It was amazing. 
And we found a frog. It crossed my path, but I already had a prince at home, so <laughs> I didn't need to kiss the frog. I don't know about that. He did pee. The frog did pee on James, which is my daughter Maxine's boyfriend of many, many years. Yeah, he peed on him. <laughs> So he could be the one that gets the froggy warts. <laughs> That's exactly what you do. You put the next piece in. I usually put about a quarter inch between them, though. So I let it go for a little oh, yeah. bit more. Yeah. And just put a quarter inch between. Makes it easier. All right, here's some more of these. How's Tennessee treating you, Alexa? Tennessee is treating me great. I'm having a lot of fun there. I hope to go to school within the next year for architecture. I just kind of have to decide on which school I want to go to. is a security guard. You're a boss. Yeah, I'm a supervisor. I also work as a freelance artist, currently working for a group as their uh, main artist. And I've made three different sticker sets of five stickers each, so 15 stickers. I've made posters for them, banners. And I'm currently in the process of making them a comic book. Is this your own pattern, Alexa, or did you find one? It's making it up as it goes. Yeah, I'm kind of making it up. I know what I'm doing. We didn't break it, okay. No, but you. Did I mess it up for me? The tension got off when you first started. Oh, man. See, it's tangled, so just sew the rest of the way through real quick. Yep. Okay. Lift the needle. Oh, actually, you don't have to because this way. Which one did it go? This one? Yep, this. Ah, yes. There's an extra pair of snips on that table right there. I see. Here, that's my pair. All right. You can got snips. Just you re sew it now. Because this can just get cut off. You can cut that off with the snips. Okay. I'll snip that now. Before I... But yeah, I'm just making this up. What part of Tennessee? Just um, west, east, middle, uh, north, south? Upper east. Uh, close to Virginia and Kentucky. I can drive to both in a few hours. What are you going to be doing? Are you going to be doing the same thing as last week? Yeah, I'm going to finish my last week's project after I chop up a bunch more of these for her. Okay. That way she has more combinations. Just cutting them real quick because I'm fast at this and she would take years. <laughs> I would take years and probably chop up a finger. She doesn't cut properly, guys. If you guys have ever been on my channel before and watched Alexa here, she looks like she's about to stab something with the rotary cutter. <laughs> Very dangerous looking. Do you live near the mountains in Tennessee? I live near a bunch of mountains. Um, don't know exactly which ones they're called. But the Appalachian? Do you live near that? The well, Appalachian yeah. Mountain? Appalachian. Whatever it's called. There you go. There's some more combos being cut for you. How much of each? Because you'll have plenty to work start with, with you know, while you're in here. What is your type of security? They think you sell some dangerous things. No, I do not carry a gun. Um, 
Not a dangerous security guard? No, I just work at a factory as the guard that makes sure that no one's stealing anything and no one gets in without approval. It's not anything dangerous. Basically, it's just a lot of monitoring cameras and writing up paperwork. Oh, that wasn't funny. Oh, the other side actually looks exactly the same. Oh, that's This one is this, by the way. Did you really want this? Oh, no. I didn't notice that it was quite like yeah. that. Yeah, You I can use the, the back side if you want. You don't have to use the front side. The back side is just for the teeth. But it's just a little bit different feeling. Yeah, no, I'm good. How many stitches per minute does the Juki do? Uh, uh it's uh, eleven hundred or something like that, or a thousand. I don't know. I don't know offhand. I'm not that much of a a guru on my machine. <laughs> Is that a word? I'm not that much of a guru on my machine. You can Google it. Someone Google will tell in. you. Someone will put the link in. Scotty put the link in though. It, it'll take you to the machine and it tells you all the information about it. This one? This one? I want to start blending these in because yeah. there's a lot. Well, I'm still only on my first, uh, first one. I gotta gauge how long it is to see if that's the right length I'm going for in from waist to ground. These are not iron. Look at it. That looks pretty. I like it. So I can see that and then should be hopefully enough to reach the ground. If not, we'll see. Like add Do you remember what the size of this desk is offhand, honey? This desk is 72 by 36 by 24 tall, I think, or 20 something tall. Oh, yeah. I'm to take measures now. I would measure. I didn't sew at all. Okay. Then you come unthreaded, put the needle up, press the needle up. Needle up. You don't have to do that. Yeah, it's getting dirty. There's a button that says needle up. Oh. And it lifts the needle. So it's in here. I can see it. Just uh, pull from here. Oh, it's stuck. Yeah. It's stuck in there. I see where it, there it is. Down, up. You know how to do Down, that. Down, up, around. Yeah. And there's a needle threader built on there. Like, oh yeah. I yeah, so you drop you this thing, me? you put the thread under here, cross it over, oops, under here, cross it through. And I can't do it backwards. <laughs> I can't do it forwards. So we're just doing it the old fashioned way. What are you making in this one? I'm making a skirt, a quilt skirt. I'm working with quarter inch seam allowance, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. And I'm Sewing using batiques. batik fabrics. Browns and greens. Browns, greens, and cream. some cream. It's going to be for a Renaissance fair skirt. <laughs>
this reach is where I needed to go. Oh my god, wait. I think I got it perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. So it's done down. And you want it to be wide, so you have to. Yeah. So it's. Gonna get front decent panel amount. and a back panel. Oops. Yeah. So probably ten versus. Eight. Probably eight. Probably further. Ten to nine. Do you watch the women that make Renaissance clothes, Alexa? I do. I watch. There's a handful of ladies that I watch that make Victorian era period clothing, Renaissance period clothing. Um, I actually have a character that I go to Renaissance Fairs with, and every year I kind of update their costume. Um, the reason I chose Batiks is because it does look like fabric that would exist during the Renaissance period because it's printed in a way that both sides are the same. It looks like it could be hand dyed. It is. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> but like it's manufactured different now. Before it was like troughs of fabric. So now I know it's 10. I think I reached 10 in here. By the way, this is ice dyed. That's cool. Ice dyed? Hold it up. I want to see. That is awesome. This yeah. is what I ice like. dyed fabric looks like. I like when it. it's ice dyed. I like it. Light. I might separate my lights and darks real quick. That way when I go through it makes it easier for me. Point out the postcards now they can see that. They oh, haven't seen yeah. that in a long if time. you guys haven't seen in a long time, my postcard quilt is seeable in the background. That's where I put all the postcards. I do trade the postcards out so that they all get displayed now and then. Two more colors for you. One, two. One, two. Three, four, I don't know, like YouTube six, moving around at the other end of it. Keeps blurring in and out of focus. Oh. Trying to focus on YouTube. Seven. Eight. Yeah, Nine. Been to Renaissance fairs in different states, haven't you, Lexa? Yep, I've been to Renaissance fairs now, Arizona and Kansas. Kansas was my favorite one, the Kansas City Renaissance Fair. Technically, it wasn't Kansas, it's Missouri, but <laughs> it's on like that weird border. The group I went with, they're called the Oddity Collective, they're really cool. Um, I am their official artist, as I had mentioned earlier, and I really do love doing the Renaissance Fairs because they're unique, different, and I plan on going every year to the Carolinas Renaissance Festival because it's close by to where I live. You've been to the one in Franklin, Tennessee? I have not yet. All right, here you go. Tons of squares. Thank you. While you're talking fabric, before you get into uh, sewing, do you want to tell them about the sale going on? Sale. Missing sale. Oh, connecting threads. Yes. <laughs> connecting threads is having a sale. Also, if you guys haven't already, 
the Fat Quarter Shop. If you guys go to Fat Quarter Shop, Fat Quarter Shop has got the Christmas Specialty Jolly Box that you can get. It's a one time only. It's still available, I think. Um, but get it soon because if you don't, they'll all be gone. And then Connecting Threads is having sales. All their fabrics, if you go into the sale fabric, there's so many sale fabrics and sale uh, jelly rolls and so on and so forth. There was a couple I haven't actually gone back on yet, but uh, Connecting Threads has some jelly rolls for like $22. That's like $20 off of the price that you normally find jelly, for, jelly rolls for. So I would go on there and check out the sales, guys, under the sales stuff. I'm going to put links in. And both. Scotty put links in for both of those places for you. And any purchase you make helps my channel out just ever so slightly. Pennies on the, you know, pennies, pennies, pennies. But that's it. Good enough. Helps out. All right, where am I at here? Okay. I have not tissues. These hearts. Hearts and Pisces. I'm just going to slide that out of the way. So I'm continuing on with my random colors on opposite sides or was i doing same colors i don't remember i think i'm doing random opposites yeah random opposite colors that's what i'm doing all right and i need to find my quarter inch again because i was sewing something else and i didn't have my guide down even though i have a paper my sticky guide my um tape <laughs> Wait, wait, is this the right side? Which side was I sewing them on? You better look and check before you get too far. And I didn't sew one on the others yet, so I think it's going on the big side triangle. Show, show them one of your blocks from last week. So last week we did Just show them one so these blocks right here, the hourglass, and then I put the three and a half inch strips on both sides to create this lovely block. And this time I ended with Half of the um, cat's cradle, by the way, is what it's called, um, block. Because remember, I couldn't think about what it was, but I was reminded a few times it's the cat's cradle block. So I got it on one side, and I'm going on the other side of the larger triangle this week. Because I didn't finish that last week. Oh. <laughs> you got this. You can do it. Is it still threaded? Mm -hmm. Snips, use snips. You can do it, you know. <laughs> we have faith. Trial and error. That's just how it goes. <laughs> You're learning. You're doing good. You're doing good. Keep it up. You can see where I messed up. The tension is bad. How? I don't know. It's bad. What's the dial at? Four. Take it down to, or up to four and a half. it down to um three three and three quarters yeah okay i mean it's still holding obviously but it's not um 
perfect. The Pinto barely gets used, so it definitely needs some adjustments here and there. <gasps> oh yeah, much better. How many do you have? It needs to go down just a little bit more though. Take it to three and a half. Three and a half? You all are having a lovely weekend this weekend. How's it looking now? I think it looks pretty good. No, it's like a straight line on the top almost. Now, look, we're going to come over here. I need to reset it here some. And move. Is everything ready for the wedding, honey? Uh, everything is mostly ready for the wedding. Um, not really though, but mostly. Come on. Go away. Maybe we'll take it and see. What the hell were you when you learned how to quilt? I think you, you, know, you were something like 17 that. 17 or 18? Oh man, this is like really screwed up. What is wrong with this machine? Yeah, it was about 17 or 18. It's when mom first started learning, I decided to learn with her um, for the most part. Okay, this this machine is on the fritz. But I've always kind of knew how to sew. If, is this machine look okay at E3? No, it's not okay at all. Something is wrong. It might not like orofil thread. It's nothing likes orofil thread. <laughs> I'm telling you, it doesn't. It does not like it at all. Well, then let's put another thread on and see. If not, we'll pull another thread. machine out then. Tiff, have you done a tutorial on how to adjust tension on an industrial machine? Uh, no. I have not done really much with the industrial machine because I don't really, um, use it enough yet i it's been you know i've been busy with other things so i haven't had a chance to use the industrial enough sorry we're trading out for a different thread hopefully that works <laughs> it doesn't want it in the bobbin, see? Yeah. It's because it's in the bobbin, too. This machine is picky, just like my Juki. Okay, so we're removing Orofil completely from this machine. <laughs> I need another bobbin though for you. Hold that for a second. I got it. Yeah. Kind of stuff comes in the jelly roll box. The jolly box. The uh, jolly it's, box. It's Sorry. like eighty-two dollars worth box. of goodies for. Twenty nine ninety nine or something like that. What was that? The value is there. I don't personally buy that kind of stuff because I just don't. But I would if I was interested in Christmas stuff. But honestly, I don't do Christmas related projects. I don't think you use the same notions box I do. 
yeah. Well, mine's for a completely different reason. I put reason. thread, but that one's all my um, essential thread. In many different colors. All right. Where's the snips? That makes things easier. Yeah. Putting them right here. <laughs> and keep putting the snips right there. <laughs> One time I put a fabric pile on top of it. Oops. <laughs> All right, now let's re-thread it and make sure that it's good because it should be good once it's re-threaded because so far the essentials thread runs through all the machines really nicely. So that's found at connecting threads. You can also buy big spools, but I've been buying the, we bought a bunch of the little spools. Not little, little, but they're pretty good size. But I got mine on sale. I don't think it's on sale right now. Oh my goodness. Why can't my fingers hold it? All right, let's test that now. Okay, this out because I thought this was going to be easy. I guess I should hold up there. I'm sorry. That's not you, it's me. She wanted to pull out the other one. I said, yeah, let's just use the feather. It'll be easy. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry guys and I'm sorry to the Orafil Thread Company, but none of my machines, brother Juki, my King Quilter, none of my machines like it. So for those of you who can use it, good on you. But for me, it doesn't work. That's it what is we're not like giving away then. <laughs> Orafil Thread. Yeah. I don't know what it is about their thread, but my machines just don't yeah, like I might have to resell most of these. <laughs> yeah, resell them because so this one's like yanked. Yeah, I'm going to fix just it. Just pop the stitching out here. Let's just see my first. Just pop all that stitching out and just redo it. You guys could see sometimes the struggles are real. Oh, and I should have that up. <laughs> While I'm sewing. What's a good pattern that uses a variety of fat quarters? A good variety of fat quarters. Um, I have lots of patterns that play with fat quarters. Try Fat Quarter Frenzy. It's a great one on my channel. <laughs> Other than that, I have no idea. There's so many patterns out there. I can't just pop out one out of my head. My honest suggestion when it comes to trying to find a pattern is to just type into Google fat quarter friendly quilt patterns and see what pops up. There's probably tons of free ones out there. There's probably tons of paid ones out there. But Google will know because Google knows. Right there? Oh, yeah. It was up against the edge because I have the needle all the way to the right at the edge. There you go. Me, me. <laughs> Oh, yes. Amazing. Much okay, better cool. stitching. <laughs> cool. I'm not going to fix that first row. Well, tell them when we do our next D stash and we do a giveaway, that's what we'll give away some more fill thread. Uh, if I have enough, I've used most of it up. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what all I have. And I'm out of thread, speaking of thread. because I think I'm getting close to like running out of what color is going to land with what. That's kind of what I'm doing is I'm preparing. Uh -huh. pre well, I didn't think about this last time and I didn't want to run down to the same amount. 
Is the Jolly Box a one-time shipment? Yeah, the Jolly Box is a one-time box. Their normal fat quarter shot box is the, uh, the, um, um, oh my goodness, I can't think of it. Somebody in the audience knows. <laughs> it's the, uh, I wanted to get, so sampler. I wanted to get it. I've been wanting to get the so sampler for years, but I've been watching everybody's unboxings and there's like at least six months out of a 12 month year. I wouldn't be interested in half of the fabrics that come in there. They're not my style, not my taste, whatever. So it's, it's hit and miss. Do I only order it for six months and hope that my six months of boxes are good or do I not? I don't know. But again, it is a sampler of the things that are available. So, I mean, I can't get too mad, but I haven't ordered it yet because I've been watching for like four years now. I've been wanting to get that so sample and I just can't pull that trigger because I sometimes I'm like, I already have that notion. Why would I want that again? Or I already have this uh, jelly roll. Why would I want it again? Or I didn't like that. What you know what I mean? So it's hit and miss in my brain. <laughs> Man, look at this one. Look at this one. I'm gonna redo this really quickly because I can't. Um, I don't want the same thing on there. Do you need, need to rip them while you send the new ones? I can do that. If that would help. Although you're probably faster at ripping them than me, but I can do it. I've done it before with one. I mean, I'm what I'm doing is kind of doing it one at a time. So each one, I only have these five that I got to do because I'm not going to redo that whole row. Okay. Um, Oh yeah, that's right. You did it the whole row. <laughs> I'm not gonna redo the whole row. That can probably just end up being like the top row or something, or one of the first rows, because it is going to be quilted. Mm -hmm. I don't mind that it's yeah. going to be messed up. Yeah. It is going to see a lot of wear and tear out of fair. Awesome. And, and the character's intentions, especially, um, like the character mm -hmm. itself. Um, yeah, everything's patchwork and messy to begin with. Yeah. So if it doesn't hold up in one place and I fix it by hand it'll no, fit that one. Yay. okay so Tip what, pattern the blue star. what pattern is what the blue star the blue star is a lone star so I did a, a video called the uh not so alone lone star it's just making a lone star quilt it's a whole series you'll find it in my playlist and that was one of the setting stars. That was one of the leftover ones that was the wrong size. Because I, before I filmed to make sure that I had my measurements right, I actually made a block and I realized that that was the wrong size. So that one just got set aside and I upsized it, which worked out perfect for the pattern. And that was that leftover one. And then I just took the leftover fabric. Uh, I had some two and a half inch strips left over and I just went around it with that. That's that. That's all it is. It's gore. It's a star bordered with two and a half inch strips, and then I quilted it. That way, I have a piece of my friend who got the main quilt, the not so lone lone star quilt. That's all completely custom. She got the main quilt. It's it's in uh, Idaho right now. It lives in Idaho on a bed. <laughs> She's probably here in the chat, and I have a piece of it to you know, a, you know, just because I wanted a piece of it. So that's what I got. <laughs> but I show how to make that kind of star in the not so lone lone star. That's just the small version. The, the big version is the video and I show how to make the smaller versions. Definitely not used to um, no. this. Is it in that disc? Yep. Is it in the disc? 
Down, up, around, up, around. Um, make sure it's on the hook. Is it on the hook? You got it yeah, on the hook. Okay. <laughs> you can thread it by hand, or you can try the automatic threader. I like it by hand. Where do you get your hardware for your making bags? Hardware for making bags, Scott buys me from anywhere that has it on sale, in bulk. <laughs> eBay, Amazon, Walmart. eBay, yeah, eBay, Amazon, Walmart. Whatever's uh, cheap. <laughs> yeah, I've bought some on uh, Sally Tomato um, for some bags that I've done for people. I bought specialty stuff from a little bit more pricier sites, but it was on sale, so I bought the on sale stuff. Anywhere that there's a sale is where most of the stuff I get comes from and then the other stuff is just what people send me mostly people send me fabric but all my notions and stuff always a sale or it comes and it came in a box like things that i get in my um open gates subscription box which i love that box speaking of boxes from we were talking about that's my most favorite because so far i have not been disappointed with an open gates box and a lot of the projects i keep and scott's like you have so many wall hangings why do you need more well, so now I pick and choose which ones I keep, but I want to keep them all because they're all amazing. I love that box. That's my favorite box ever. Um, but yeah, uh, most of my stuff comes from things like that. Sales, sales, sales. Always look for a good deal. Recently... Recently, I bought from a lady um, off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. She was just getting rid of a lot of stuff. So I got a, some big rulers that I didn't even have. So now I got the bigger rulers um, and a couple notions from her. Um, just things like that, you know, like I got these rulers. I never had these before. She had these in her stuff. So they're the Fonz and Porter um, by Omnigrid, they're the marking for centered line markings. So I can mark my drawn lines and I have them in the two sizes. I recently just got these just, they're used, but you know, that's where I get my stuff. I got a stiletto just recently. Um, but I always check stuff like that. Cause you know, you never know what you'll find. <laughs> And it's good to check those for estate sales, too, because we don't live forever. So people die that were quilters and their family sells off all the stuff. So it's good to find all that, too. That's where you can get good deals. I bought that way plenty of times. nice to be thrifty. Especially when you're on a budget. to see we're also going to move this out of the way because if it falls it gets broke and hurts yeah. people yes <laughs> Now I just need to choose all the ones I want and lay them out and make a quilt. I bet that some of these have uh, the, the thingies, so now I have to like... <laughs> oh yeah, go on to the inside of the smaller piece because that's... 
some pre-cuts come pinked. I don't know why they pink the teaks though. They don't really yeah. fray. But uh, yeah, work your, we'll just fold it under the thing. Perfect, see, you're learning. Although I think I taught you that one if you were yeah. making a, your first quilt or your second quilt. She's already made three quilts. I mean, she knows what she's doing. All right, now I need to press all this because I need to press it. Heiny, heiny. Oh. <laughs> I said, I see a heiny. It's all bright and shiny. I'm going to squeeze it. <laughs> I said, things look pretty good on that one. I'm actually quite proud. Yeah, I have a lot going on in this room right now. Like, literally. It's a mess. All right, I'm going to press my blocks. Where's Thumper? Tell him he can't fit in the room. We yeah, got too Thumper, much wouldn't, Thumper wouldn't be able to fit. <laughs> Scott usually sits, okay. So you guys are watching from a different angle today so that you can see both of us at the sewing, right? And you really don't see much of normal. But normally you're looking at me this way against the wall with the flag, you know? And Scott usually sits in the corner over there by the so that he can put the um, computer on the ironing board if he needs or to iron or whatever. But since Lexa's right here, he didn't want to be on camera because you guys know Scott doesn't want to be on camera. Nope. So he has to move his chair to the doorway, which my uh, industrial juki is when you come into the room. So literally between the doorway and the industrial, I mean, it's a good size walk space. But when you put a chair and a man in the chair right there, uh, even I'm struggling to pass by him because <laughs> he's literally in the way. So Thumper wouldn't even fit in here. He'd be like... He, he would be like, where do I go? What, how do I get in there? <laughs> He'd have to go like under Scott somehow. Yeah. If he wanted, he would Although if he really he's wanted, he could squeeze under the chair. He's not at the door. And my blocks should be nine and a half inches, by the way. Just in case you guys were following last week of all the things that I was making. This is the proper way for this iron to be used. Did you guys know that? This is a left-handed iron. The cord comes out to the front so it doesn't tangle on the back. When I'm on the right side, it tangles in front of me like this. This is actually a left-hander's iron. Row I did not know this. Yep. Row three. Oh, look at that. You got row three already done? Yep. You're so quick. I'm, I'm actually surprised on how quick I'm going right now. Especially on the Pinto, because that thing's slow. <laughs> even, even, my, even my new Juki is faster than that. She's getting I'm, done. That's funny. Trying to go as fast as I can while it's still learning. She's getting her done. Having fun. I can say that Alexa has sewn more than Maxine. And I've My other sewed daughter. quite a bit. But a Maxine has made a whole entire quilt that is 
in the closet, ready to be bound. She just hasn't done that yet. And I have to quilt hers for the mommy and me quilts. I haven't quilted hers yet. The backing and, and um, quilts are just hanging in there waiting. So when, when I uh, decide to quilt it, I'll quilt it on camera while she's here so that she can see. And then the day we do binding, we'll uh, bind it together because I have to bind hers and she has to bind mine. I'm getting really a lot of fun with these fabrics. Yeah. They're just really nice. I think it'll go really nice with the wings that I have and everything. Oh yeah, because you're a fairy, right? Yep, fairy. Technically I'm a moth. Um, I have these large, it's a fusion wing. As I said, it's a mismatch fairy. She is a lot of piecework and patchwork and everything. Nothing matches, which is like my favorite part about it. Um, but her wings are basically Luna Moth wings on the outside, and then the inner, like, middle part is the Death Hawk Moth wings. Oh. So, like, the browns and the blacks. Um, so, it's an interesting costume. Yeah. And when you finally finish your skirt, you're going to take a picture so that we can yeah. show the audience? Yeah. Once the entire costume's done, I'll have a lot of photos going. Yeah, it's a GE iron. Yeah, I always say yeah. that I just do the same thing. Yeah. It, right handers can use it too. It's just a tangle of the cord when you're using it with your right hand. It always gets stuck on the edge of the iron, ironing board, I mean, and it, the cord always tangles on that, and then I'm always trying to yank it. I use it all the time. Not me wrong. I guess that's why most irons have to come straight out the back. Yep. Mm. This one's definitely left-hander. But I'm iron ambidextrous, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also rotary cutting ambidextrous. I am chopstick ambidextrous. You can use chopsticks with both hands? Yep. Oh. I can't even use chopsticks with one hand. Neither can I. <laughs> I can't use chopsticks with my right. Much my, less my I, left. My friend Emily sent me chopsticks and I can't even use those. I have the greatest even fear for of for kids. I can't hold them right. I have one of the greatest fears of like damaging my right wrist or carpal tunnel, which I have the beginning stages of carpal tunnel. So I've always started practicing things with my left hand. So I can kind of doodle with my left hand. I can kind of write with my left hand. It looks a little janky, but I've always attempted. And yeah, I can use chopsticks perfect with my left hand. <laughs> There are other things I can do with my left hand because I had surgery on my right hand and had to do those things with my left hand, but I'm not going to say that out loud. <laughs> do you prefer making apparel over quilts, Alexa? Yes. Um, I like. It's not really apparel, though. You like making costumes. Costumes can be apparel because I can wear this every day. I mean, I can wear it whenever I it's want. It's considered the same. Yeah. Okay. Clothing okay. over quilts. Yeah. yeah. I like making clothing. I like designing clothes i when i draw i draw characters people i like the you know outfit designs that i do and designing an outfit is a lot of fun for me so it also works in the way of like designing costumes and stuff like that i always put a lot of thought into the outfits that i wear um i always say that i kind of dress like a 80s arcade floor <laughs> um because i like wearing the, the over shirts with like a lot of patterns and stuff like that i like tons of pattern <laughs> every costume i have has a lot of it okay i really have the cameras from down there so i can see all the stuff we are doing instead they just see this um well i said it three times they can see what you're doing. They can't see a thing. Right. Last piece for this row. What are you cosplaying as? Um, so this one is just a character I have made. Her name is Adelaide Cornadini Cornadinius, which is a type of mushroom. She's um, a mushroom? <laughs> she's she picked a mushroom and was just like, I want that as my name. 
Oh. Um, Adelaide is their first name, and basically... It, so what is she, a fairy? Or yeah. That? Well, That's what we want to know. <laughs> changeling that disguises as a fairy, because changelings are seen as evil, for the most part, and fairies oh. aren't. Okay. And she's a good character. She wants to be liked by people not hated. Um, and fairies are liked. Changelings are not. Changelings um, in at least mythology and stuff like that, especially like North myth Norse mythology, um, they replace children and cause evil, and she's yes, not know. like that. Um, she's a very nice, <laughs> sweet character. Row four. Look at that. <laughs> You're making progress. One row five, and then I have to rematch things. <laughs> I gotta see if nine rows is enough to do what I need. Um, other things that I've cosplayed, I've cosplayed characters from TV shows. Um, Our, Flag's Me Our Flag Means Death is one I've cosplayed from. Uh, there's a character named Jim, and that was a lot of fun to cosplay that character. I've done... Anything there's... that these people would know, because most of these people like don't know. Well, Our Flag Means Death is a very popular one right now. Um, I've done uh, Castiel from Supernatural a few times. <laughs> That was a lot okay, of fun. Okay, that's just a suit and a trench coat, though. I could do that. Well, I have yeah. wings. He is awesome, though. I had wings. That was a lot of fun. Um, I've done Scarlet Witch from Marvel. I did two versions of her. I did her 70s costume, and I did a, like, Met Gala-looking one. Hmm. I have this, like, really long red dress that fit perfectly for um, a Met Gala look. Scarlet is that Witch the one you cool. got the, from the thrift store when you were with me? Yeah. Or? And you got the gloves and stuff to go with it? Yep. Yep. I did an entire costume for that. Um, I think other ones that people would probably know. I'm currently working on a few characters from Pirates of the Caribbean. I want to do Jack Sparrow one year. A that female would be, version of him would be, be kind cool. of cool. Yeah, that um, would be cool. With the hat and the goofy hair. I think that would be yeah. awesome because then I can instead of having like the beard, you yeah. can have two like long pieces in the front. That would be kind I, of fun. I would like that. That would look cool. Um, <laughs> I want to do vision one year. I think that'd be kind of fun. Paint myself red. He's a Marvel guy. Um, the guy with the stone in his forehead. You'd know it if we watched the movie. I want to do Spider Man something fierce. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to dress as Spider-Man? I really want to dress as Spider-Man. There's also a Spider-Gwen, or yes, Gwen Stacy, and I knows. love her outfit so much. We just watched the movie, she knows. She played on her phone the whole time and was bored, but she watched it. <laughs> but the thing with spider suits is, like, when you order them, they're, like, one size fits most, or when you do, do custom measurements, they're not always right, and which means I'd have to probably do a lot of my own adjustments and stuff and sew it myself and I've always done stuff like that where I can adjust things myself and redo it. Are you going to the one in Charlotte, North Carolina, Alexa? Um, I don't know what it is, but I plan on it doing it. What is it, a Comic Con? No, yeah. it yeah, is it the Comic Con? Oh I, I, I don't know. Do it. I, I Between Renaissance Fairs right. and conventions, I'm not sure. I know that my next convention is going to be probably KatsuCon, which I believe is somewhere in Virginia. I don't remember. Uh, my usual con, though, is the Colossal Con in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, what's what's the one you went to in Georgia? Oh, that was uh, MomoCon. I have no idea any of this stuff. Momo means peach in Japanese, and Georgia is the, is the peach state. Oh, okay. They make peaches. Did you teach all your kids to sew, Tiffy? Uh, yeah. All four knew how to sew. Knows how to sew. Alexa, do you do theater? I did orchestra. I was a well, I cellist for a long time. I don't really do theater. I wanted to do theater, but... Do you think you still could play cello? I probably could. I just need one. Oh, well... Those are expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I just meant, like, say you yeah. go to someone's house and they have a cello, would you, you I could be able probably to still play, play uh, Beethoven, probably. Or Hot Cross Buns. <laughs> 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 I 
you know, um, the things you learn in high school. Yeah, I know I played Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, show them up one of the things that you've done. They can't see what you did. So you here's learned. the hourglass from last week. Looks good. And then here's the cat's cradle from this, from finishing up this week that I started last week. And they're all mixed up. Everything's mixed up, all the colors. So that way, when I put this together, every other block will be each, the other block. I'm going to have to lay it <laughs> yeah, out, though, because um, if I don't lay it out, then I'm definitely not going to take the chance of having two same colors next to, next to each other. That's kind of how I'm like, oof, I might put a green next to another green or the same color shade variation. So I'm kind of like watching what I'm doing here because I'm like, I don't know. Love the faces you make while working. I make a lot of faces when I sew. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, there are people that sew with their tongue sticking out. There are people that suck on their bottom lip while sewing. I do a lot of that. I know I do. Yeah. <laughs> there are people that do all sorts of stuff. I'm just so afraid. I don't know what I do. What do I do? I kind of block out the world you when talk I sew. Well, you do. Well, I usually talk while sewing, but when I'm sewing without the camera there, I don't. Stare I at usually you then. am quiet. <laughs> I just stare at the machine and like. I like this one. This like one's my favorite. It has a little butterfly in it. Oh, that is cool. It has a, it had a butter, butterfly here too, and I think here as well. And there's like little flowers, but I like that there's a butterfly that'll be visible once it's all done, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I do love me a butterfly. All right, two more pieces, and then I need to. Figure out how to lay it out. <laughs> Which I think I will uh, okay. save for next Sunday, only because this Sunday's kind of messed up with row five. It's not messed up, but Lex is here and sewing with me, so I think I'll put my main focus of putting this together next week. At least the blocks are finished. I really thought about this week, I, um, you know, before coming live, I really did think about uh, introducing black and doing a sashing so that this quilt ends up a little bit bigger because the blocks are nine and a half inches. So that means they'll finish at nine and it's going to be, I'm just going to do six across by six down, just a square quilt. Um, I have gotten comments saying I can do five by eight to use all 40 blocks, but Honestly, uh, I don't really want tall and skinny, so I want to do six across by six down. But I have to lay it out to be able to get that correct. And then I do have the pieces. If I do introduce black, that will allow me to do a black stopping border. And then I can use all the leftover pieces of the triangles. There's no leftover big ones, but there's squares and small triangles left. I could make uh, the pieced border with that next week and that would look really cool but for now i really don't have anything else with this one at least what's the blue star on the wall again the blue star on the wall is a lone star <laughs> so i have leftover cat's cradle blocks and I'm gonna just piece those into the back of the quilt. And then I have leftover hourglass blocks. Again, I'll just piece those into the back of the quilt and or make a little pillow or something. But I have in this empty open gates box, I have all the triangles and squares left. And if I take to make a border and make half square triangles out of these pieces and mix and match them, then I can put them in between the squares and have a half square triangle, a square, half square triangle, a square, and then make that piece border. So if I introduce black, if not, then I'm still going to make a piece border, but I don't think it's enough to go all the way around without having introducing another color. So we'll see. 
black is always the best option when it comes to the teaks, but white might actually look good too because there's some white accent in in the that read white, I should say. Like here in this red, it kind of reads white right there. So I mean, I could use a white as a sashing. I don't know. I don't know yet. I just know I need to lay it all out. <laughs> That's all I know at this point. So for now, we will continue my project for this next week. And right now we'll just work with Lexa. Can I sew some with you? Sure. I'm trying to separate some. No. Doing 10 at a time, apparently. Well, yeah, she, for her length. Yeah. yeah, my length is 10, so I know 10. This is kind of where I'm at. So I gotta separate some more. But basically, I'm doing light, dark, but kind of flopping back and forth between greens and other colors. So it's just like one, two, three. Four, five. Here, we'll. Uh, what weight six. thread do you typically use? I for use long forty arm? for long arm, forty weight. Mm -hmm. I use forty weight for piecing and quilting, but sometimes camera's moving. By the way, uh, sometimes we I use uh, fifty weight for piecing. So she's separating her colors. I can't keep the camera here long because every time I step it wiggles. One, two, three, four. So five, she's making piles of ten. Six. Seven. You don't have as many lights. Eight, do I need to cut more lights? I think I should be fine. Because some of these will all count as lights. Nine. Where did you get all the clear storage bins? All of my storage here. We'll take a room toury type stuff while she's doing this. Yeah. Because everybody always asks. So camera's going to move. All the bins on this shelf right here. So all these kind of storage containers with the plastic lids that I keep my homemade pre-cuts in. These are from the dollar store, from the dollar tree to be exact is where they have these ones. These I got when I was a teenager. That's why they have stickers and stuff on them. Yes, I have stuff that I've had since I was a teenager. I mean, it even has K-Rock, which is a California radio station that I used to listen to when I was young. And then obviously I do recycle and use my open gate boxes. Um, earlier I was talking about the new rulers. So here is some of my new rulers and I even bought a stand. So it's one of those ruler stands. Um, I even bought that from the lady online. Um, here we are on this side of the room, which is just my little notion, like cutesy stuff that, you know, people have sent me and, uh, and are made for me or did for me. And then behind you Lexa, and you use 40 weight, I use 40 weight on the long arm because it slides through it very nicely. There's a close up of that quilt right there with the quilting. I did spirals on it since you guys have been asking through the video. And then the back of this quilt is just this. So you could see the quilting really good. It's just a blue sky bluey color. There's a window behind here, but I try to keep it dark in here. Then this right here is the postcard quilt. So the postcards get rotated out here and there. The quilt itself is uh, an open gate project that I did. It has stars and I heavily quilted it. And uh, it's the got little um, postage stamps on the fabric. So it's all postage stamp type thing. So I figured this is like the perfect quilt for postage and then to this side I have my 
ruler um thing what is this called again pegboard pegboard thank you um pegboard with the thingy mabobbers i painted the pegboard myself it's got many thingy mabobbers yeah it's got many thingy mabobbers on it a few do deads yep few do deads yes One or two thingy -majigs. and then here is our mailing station down here <laughs> that's just part of it the rest of it's in the garage underneath there though is tubs of pre-cuts and then these tubs right here are from the actual 99 cent store they're kind of cheesier but these ones are from the 99 cent store also these kind with the clip lid i have a bunch of these in the fabric room um so those are really good ones these bigger ones i have tons of stuff in those uh, on this desk is a disaster. It's where the machines go. All the machines line up on there. And then another disaster over here where Scotty's sitting. That's my industrial machine hiding under that little quilt. <laughs> As you can see, it's a disaster. And then back, oh, on the wall on this side, I have my last open gate project. I loved it so much it got hung up right away. And then I recently just got gifts um, from the, what is it, Metalworks? Uh, uh, what was it called? MyMetalworks.com. Here is one of those little needle minders. I actually just put it on the quilt because I thought it was super cute. There's one of my award-winning quilts. That one's the one that won me the embroidery machine, right? That's the one that won the embroidery machine, right? No, no, no. That's the one that won the long arm that, that I traded for arm. my yeah. other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the embroidery one was different. Then this side is a shelf. Uh, this is a little thing you put envelopes in on the side. And then this shelf is all patterns, books, and so on. Like that. And then I have my Tiffany's Quilting Life way up there. And then over here is in that bin right there. I actually have clothing patterns in there. And clothing patterns in that other bin. And these were something that was sent to me. I got those. Those are so adorable. And then I have a thing of patterns and um, awards and, you know, stuff like that here. And then fabric down here. And then obviously in my closet, all my quilts are up there. Those are my wall hangings that I rotate out. And stuff that I haven't touched, bags of brand new batting. Um, I don't buy it by the bag anymore like that, though. But that's a really good batting, by the way, if you guys didn't know. This stuff is amazing right here. It's the Quilter's Dream blends. Um, this is the 70-30, the 70 cotton 30 poly. This one's really good for custom quilting, like really good. I love this stuff. <sighs> and then obviously all the stuff I need to get done is in here. You know, like it's all in here though. And then the floor, uh, I don't really want to show you because it's a mess okay oh, that's shirt. it and then scotty's shirt hangs right here on the ironing board and then all that oh yeah my i'm still deciding on what to quilt on this so yeah and then my flag which is normally what's behind me and then back to the beginning again and then under the ironing board way over there batting scraps from when i trim quilts and then that's one of my thread and notion stands. And then under my desk, this whole bin right there is thread. Down there's two bins of thread. And then my, I told you guys, I keep my triangles from the hourglasses. That's where they stay. And then the bottom one is my um, snail trail blocks. And then I keep a, the ironing things down here. But that's it. My room is a disaster right now. <laughs> But most of my tubs, anything that I use for storage comes from the dollar store because it's a dollar. And the bigger tubs are the ones from the 99 cent store are $2.99. So I'm all about saving money. Yep. All right. Plugged back in right there. There we go. You guys can stay right there. I'm going to sew some of Alexa's rose. Well, I need help cutting them. Oh, you want to cut some more lights? Yeah, so lights, and I also included brown dark ones because I'm actually like more in need of the darks than I am of the lights. Oh. So you need more of this one? Uh, a little bit more of that one. 
or and these dark ones here, these browns, if possible. All right. Oh, and under the desk on that side is another sewing machine that doesn't fit on any of the shelves and other storage, like uh, bag making supplies and interfacings and stuff. It's the broke jeep. It's the broke jeep. Do you have any suggestions for leftover daddy? Um, you crank and peace. I Franken piece pieces that are, I'm not going to use that right now, pieces that are like uh, 20 inches wide by the length of the quilt. I Franken piece all that and or I iron it with the, uh, hold on, I got to tell you, I iron the, if it's cotton batting, cotton only, I only do this on 100% cotton, but I use uh, easy heat and bond, easy seam tape. This stuff is amazing for piecing um, batting together so that you don't have to do uh, a zigzag stitch on your machine. It's so much easier. But uh, it doesn't work really well on polyester because it burns. So don't use it on polyester blends. It's mainly for cotton. Um, what else? I use um, for the smaller pieces of batting. I make pot holders and bowl cozies and uh, wall hangings, table, um, runners. table runners, all that stuff. That's what I make with all the small cuts. And the even smaller cuts, like long pieces like this. I actually saved these and I have a project in mind that I'm gonna show you guys what you can do with them. I just haven't got to it yet because I've been really busy with all sorts of stuff. But you can chop it up into squares and use it to stuff dog beds and cat beds. Could you use um, like batting strips, like long strips of batting to make like thicker scarves? You could, How much but it would be really juki? thick. Scott put a link to what? The Juki. Oh, Ladies well they can hear you. Information yeah. on your machine. Yeah, Scott put a link to the Juki. Uh, the um, smaller Scraps could stuff things though. You cut, you chop it up into small squares and stuff stuff. What I was saying something else though before you sent the link to the Juki. Um, what you do with your batting scraps? Uh, what else do I do with my batting scraps? I can't think. What else do I do with them? I then I throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> then I throw them away. Like this stuff right here. Is polyester. It's a four ounce polyester for making um, show quilts. I use the poly blends and or 100% four ounce polyester. It's really thick. This kind of stuff I don't use for anything because again, it's, I don't know what to use it for. So this usually goes in the trash because it's a really thin piece. But if I had a nice big square of it, I would use it for wall hanging. But unfortunately I did a quilt and I cut to exact size for that so I didn't need I didn't have any extras <laughs> I'd go on that side because it's dark down there and there's your light so it'll bring it back to light that's up to you though I'm not great with color what's the name of the acid paper used for fabric organizing do they mean the comic book boards comic book boards is that what she's talking about um the comic is there isn't there a link to it I made a, link, a thingy for the comic book boards Oh, yes, you did. It's bored. Time to go to Lincoln. Scott's putting a link into those comic book boards, but yeah, I, I buy the comic, the magazine boards because they're eight and a half by 11. They're like a sheet of paper. Now, if you want to, your shelf, say your shelf is smaller, the comic boards are actually um, eight inch by. 11 inch they're smaller or six. Oh, look at that i think <laughs> i'm gonna have to count eventually once i hit nine do you cut your batting up and use it for stuffing that one there that you don't use uh no i don't cut it out and you cut it up for stuffing honestly not that not the polyester 
I used to, but I don't anymore. I used to also Franken piece the polyester using a zigzag stitch, but I think it's too much hassle, and now I just throw it in the trash. Yeah, supposedly the poly works great for pillows. Yeah, poly, it would work great for pillows, but I don't have no pillows to stuff. I can tear, that's why I have that there, because I'm almost out of uh, poly fluff, because when Gabby and I made her uh, ring bear pillow, we used a lot of my stuffing, so, and I'm almost out of stuffing, so I need to get more. Where did I? Did you move all this? All these little pieces? Oh, they were on the top. I must have accidentally did it. Okay. Trying to keep a little bit of time. Yeah. I'm actually quite surprised at how well I'm doing with those. Oh, great. It should be canceled. Oh, whatever. Go. They're in there somewhere. All right. Here's some more of those for you. Yeah, okay, did the caps lock then again. Oh, that's good. Yeah, here, the computer keeps getting stuck on caps lock. <laughs> it wants you to be mad, Scott. device we have in the house and it's already breaking because I'm touching it. <laughs> Sound like me. Every electronic device we have that I touch, other than TVs, DVD players, and VCRs, except for my air. Oh. Everything after that. Goes. And the microwave. You haven't touched and broken microwave yet. That's oh, actually, microwaves and stove. You've caught something on fire in the microwave. That didn't break the microwave, did it? Nope. <laughs> okay. I've cut stuff on fire in the microwave four or five times. Because I tried to dry clothes in it three three times. Three times I've tried to dry clothes in it. It has never worked. It's caught it on fire. Every time. That's why, that's why I tell people never put, even if your fabric and cotton thread and everything says 100% cotton, I still tell everyone, do not put bowl cozies in the microwave. Because everything Scott's ever tried to put in the microwave, it catches on fire. And it's all 100% cotton stuff. This doesn't work. It's meant for food. It's funny. I would try and put something in the microwave that's not supposed to go in there. I don't. I always forget, like if I'm stirring something and I thought, oh wait, where's my spoon? And I don't see it right away. I always open the microwave to make sure my spoon isn't in the bowl still. <laughs> oh, that's how bad my memory is getting. Well, you're now a year older. Yep. see two of the same fabric on the one line? Uh, no, you don't. How many rows are we doing? I'm trying to get nine well, on each side. That some so. of it's going to get cut, though, so you might not even have to do nine. No, I'm going to pleat it, not cut it Oh, okay. for the top part. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. It's going to basically kind of like a pinafore, how they tie in the back. Even in camera. You have to come closer. Yeah, I'll stand up. So what I'm doing is I'm creating two large rectangles, and then like a pinafore that ties in the back, usually has like the apron style. Um, it's going to be two ties on the side where it ties the back to the front and the front to the back. That way it's completely adjustable and will fit under all of my corsets and vests and stuff like that. And if I get larger, I can just loosen the ties. 
and I'm not having to. And if you to... get smaller, you just tighten the side. Yep. And that'll be beneficial for me because I am fluctuating in weight a lot. And I'm doing 10 down, which is perfect from my waist to the floor. And I wanted it to be a little longer anyway, so that's perfect. Once it's done, you can see how many I have now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, I'm on seven. That's eight, and that one's and You're nine. only getting one cut of this because this is one yard five inches, and it'll take it down to one yard. So I cross out the five. Look at that. Yeah, as long as I have a little bit more light. Two are good. So that's nine. So this is two. on here. It's 21 minus 5. I don't know. 16. Four, five. Hold on, you're going to get some of these real quick? Yeah. All right, all of her stuff is cut up. Four, five. Ask them all if they're doing anything this week for Veterans Day. The Marine Corps birthday. Uh, what are you all up to this week for Veterans Day and the Marine Corps birthday, which is the tenth and the eleventh is Veterans Day. Anybody doing anything fun, like a barbecue or anything? Scott likes to celebrate the Marine Corps birthday because he's Obviously. a Marine. All Marines do. Okay, so that's six. He's reading the chat, not me. So I don't know what any of you are doing unless okay, well, he reads it out Okay, what brand rotary now. blades do you use for your rotary cutter? Whatever on the Martelli, speak. I use the Martelli blades because that's what I have a ton of. Yeah, but you buy whatever's cheap. But I buy whatever's cheap normally. But I have a whole, like, 220 packs. Well, not 20 anymore, but um, I got 220 packs or 210 packs. I don't remember. Whatever. I have a lot of them. And they last forever. Uh, in the big one, though, there's a Fiskars blade in this one. In the 60, I put a Fiskars blade in here, and it works just fine. Um, my other ro rotary cutters, they all have whatever is on sale blade in them. We, I, Like I said, you guys, really, I we really are that thrifty because I really don't make... YouTube does not pay a lot. After paying the bills, we literally barely have any money. Like at all so buying fabric and all that stuff is on a good month and it's not a consistent income for those people that were you know asking me about youtube channels in the past it's not 
a fixed in, you know a specific income it it fluctuates it can go up one month and be so down the next it just depends on how much you guys watch so unfortunately we keep to a budget so we budget that to be like it we make it consistent every month so some months i may have like 40 extra bucks and i can go buy fabric than others you know so that's why we live on a budget and we save and that right now i'm saving to go to quilt con i already bought my ticket for the plane but now I'm resaving, you know, I bought the tickets for QuiltCon and so on. So I'm saving so that I have spending money while I'm there for food and, and fabric and fabric and food uh, and fabric. <laughs> the two F words that we need in our life. <laughs> fabric and food. Fabric and food. And anything else I may need money for, you never know. <laughs> I do know that I might have to get like hand lotion if I don't find a little thing. I might have to get some, or if Becca has some, just still hers. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know what else I'll need extra. I don't I think, can't take I, you know, the whole state of Virginia where Becca lives, I'm sure, does not have any <laughs> hand lotion to. It's the end of the world. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I don't want hand lotion. I want body lotion, actually. Whatever. Yeah, same difference. <laughs> They they don't have any stores that have lotion there. Yeah, the plain thing is why it everything has to be three ounce bottles or less, mm -hmm. and lotion doesn't come in three ounce bottles. Yeah, it does. Guys. I don't find you it. Have right. one. You might need to double count some of these, but that should be nine rows of like darks and lights going back and forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can go for any of these, but double check that it is ten. I'll know because I chain keys. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saving for. <laughs> All right. on this one is on that one. Nice. So you won't have a bunch of different kinds of threads. So your dress, or your skirt, I mean. Same difference. I started off too fast and I broke my thread. <laughs> fucking vixen stuff, so I'm taking this with my human stuff and I'm trying to read and see if I can read real for him. Potato bags? Potato bags. What the? Uh, oh, for the sack. microwave? I don't know. Uh, the burlap sack? Wait, I, I would know. never put a potato bag. I would never. I personally, this is personally me. I don't put any fabrics into a microwave. Why are we talking let about alone putting them in potato microwave? bags? Because a potato bag goes in the microwave to microwave a potato. You put the bag over it, you put it in the microwave, and it cooks it. You just can't put it in tinfoil like you do in the oven. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, you said potato bag. That's what you that's do with potato bags. The question bags. is, what about potato bags? Yeah, that that's probably the exact they're probably behind in the video. Oh. So they probably need to refresh, but. Okay. Here's another row for you, Alexa. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I don't put anything in the microwave that's not a microwave dish. <laughs> Even some of the things that are microwave safe, I still look at them like, uh, what is this in the microwave? <laughs> oh, I broke a thread. Sorry, did you start it off? Yep. Too fast. Yeah. You're supposed to like ease into it. Like that. It's like a stitch or two on it. It's low. Like that. Yeah. 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 Not every, every time, but most of the time. And even if I'm cut chain pieced connected. Look, your skirt's going to be made by the two of us. I did it again, and I started off slow. Why did it do that? <laughs> What's your deal? Oh, my thread came out of the hole again because I'm doing everything on the desk. I mean, is today just a live stream machine problem? <laughs> <laughs> it only happens on the on the live streams. <laughs> Sometimes the bobbin thread just needs to be higher. I always say that about the Juki. That's why people use leaders and enders. Sometimes it breaks before a leader and ender. So, you know, just depends. Since they're talking about taters like crazy, tell them about your famous taters. My what? Since they're talking about taters like crazy, why don't you tell them about your famous taters? My famous taters are fried potatoes with my special ingredients cooked in olive oil, and Scott loves them. I think they taste the same as any time I make potatoes, except different because it has the olive oil. It's the only thing that's different. Is the olive oil, and I realize that's why I'm having thread break. <laughs> because my thread thing is not up. <laughs> All right, here's sense, another one Mom. of her rows. What? I said that makes sense, Mom. <laughs> That'd be nice if I had my machine set up properly. Where are your sticky machines? Oh, look at this. Look how much bigger this five inch square is. Yeah, because of the. Compared to my five inch cut. Can you believe that? So I cut five inch myself and the store bought. Look at the difference in size from the store bought to the five inch square. So if I line this up right here at the edge, it is a half an inch bigger on one side and almost more than a quarter inch on the other. Look at that. That's how different these pre cuts are. I still don't understand why they pre cut with pinked edges on batiks though. It's one thing that's always been a question. Question it, and pet peeve. Like, why? They don't fray. <laughs> they fray a tiny bit, but not a, a tiny lot. bit, but not But every fabric is grown to at least a little bit of fray. Yeah, but not a, not this much. <laughs> it makes me want to like turn it down real quick. I have some make it quite easier a few. for you to. Um, hey, I did pretty good. Nest all the seams. I did pretty good. Yeah, the nesting seams are going to be when I'm uh, suffering. <laughs> oh, I found my favorite fabric in this one. It is uh, it'll fix snake. Oh, mermaid tail or snake. Kind of looks like mermaid tail to me because it's green. 
I think there's green snakes out there. I know there's green snakes. I think the majority of them are green. <laughs> no, actually, there's quite a lot that are browns. Garden snakes are green. Not all garden snakes. No. Some are yellow and red. Red and yellow. I don't know what order. I just know that there's an order that says um, if you which ones you should and shouldn't touch <laughs> if they're poisonous. It's black and yellow or red and yellow or whatever the order. If their head starts out a certain color, you don't want to touch it. Yellow and black say that. Yellow and black say that. I don't yeah. know. It's from the B movie. It's a Seinfeld. One, two, three. I don't have six here. How did I do this? <laughs> How many was in my last row now? I don't know. <laughs> How did I... Yeah, that's right. Right? Two, four, six. How did I make twelve? Well, okay, you got two extra. Skull from me. What did you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I have ten. Was you steal from me on this one, maybe? No, that looks like ten also. Let's so are you using batiks? Like yes, I'm using batiks. She raided my scrap bin. I did raid your scrap bin. I keep my batiks separate. Be raided. She's, she's been in there digging through my fabric <laughs> since she got here last night. She's like, I want this, and I want this, and I want that. It came off the needle. Me messing it up anyways. Rid of fabric. I should be dead. What? Oh, mallet. She only did a little to get rid of fabric. I should have had a huge mallet. Yeah. She just sent you home with a three suitcases of that. Well, the thing is, is I am not checking a bag, so I'm not going to take more than I need. So I'm going to click on the link. Click on the link. They can hear you when you talk. We don't have a microphone today. Well, I'm whispering. So oh. They don't hear me. <laughs> but they're still checking. Yeah, there's a link. Scott put a link in the chat. There's no microphone. Oh, yeah. We're trying to yell at you guys today because there's no microphone attached to my body to hear over the sewing machine. That's why I'm like, anytime you start talking, I slow down on the machine so that they can hopefully hear you. My phone actually has the anti um, sound verb. The yeah, sound, I, get, I get sound damper or whatever. It's yeah, called. for the ambient noises. Yeah, it has that already built into the phone, but sometimes it doesn't fully pick it up. How do I what? Make your labels for quilts. I make labels several different ways for quilts. I make with everything I use the embroidery machine for. But if you don't have an embroidery machine and you have a brother SQ9285 or a Juki, whatever that's called again, uh, the, the HZLF600 or any machine that has monogramming on it, that's what I used before I had the embroidery machine because monogramming is just the letters and if you're making a tag, you do it that way. Oh, you sewed two rows together? Well, here you go. Rip, no. rip, rip. <laughs> I literally was just like, I messed up, I fixed the machine, and then I put it down and I did the other side instead. Yeah. Oops. So I do all of it now on the embroidery machine um, for my letters and stuff and numbers and whatever I write in on a tag. But before that, I used the brother, and I have played with the monogramming on my HCLF 600 machine. 
Um, it's beautiful. And that one on the HZLF 600, you can actually shrink the monogramming and bring it in or change its height. And on this machine that she's using, you can't change the height on it. And or the fact that it's all capitalized. You can do lowercase on the F600, but on the, the brother uh, SQ9285, you can't make it lowercase or change the height or width. Or you can handwrite tags. I mean, there's so many options you can do, but I do corner tags, I do hanging tags, I build, I use the embroidery machine now and take, if I have like a king size quilt, I'll take the and find the center of the backing and then go towards the bottom where I think the quilt is gonna land and I'll just embroider directly on the backing fabric with, and use a stabilizer. And that way it's built into the quilt and nobody can cut it out. But that's been my new thing. If I already know the name and everything that I want on the quilt, then I'll pre-embroider it into the back. Now I'm going to figure out how to do this. I'm probably going to have to... But yeah, I do tags lots of different ways, mainly with the embroidery machine, though. I think it's, if you want to put this into one of them, you can do two colors. Or you can. Well, I'm starting this real quick, just to see what it looks like. Moving ahead a little. I didn't finger press or anything on any of these, by the way. I am kind of finger pressing as I'm... I'm trying to make sure that none of my nails break before the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> the bride got me press-ons. Well, I'm just She's gonna... She's gonna go on Wednesday. I'm gonna paint my nails. Something. Have her done. Who, me? Yes. Oh, I didn't know I was going to have them done. We only talked about it earlier today. What, oh. an hour ago? I don't even no, remember three talking hours about ago. it. <laughs> and we talked about it last week. Well, then I'm going to get my nails did. <laughs> uh, you made a big stink last week about getting your nails done. And somebody told you, why don't you wait till this week and we don't get messed up? And well, you said you wouldn't have either. time. Yeah. And I said you call them on Monday and you make an appointment on Wednesday. Because you got all huffy with your husband last week. I don't and remember. then today, your husband brought it up again that tomorrow you have to call and make your appointment. And you can even ask the girls if they want to come with too. Oh, I remember that conversation about the girls. If they don't want to get their nails done, that's on them. I can't afford it. Well, okay. You can it's go with and go into... Ross or something? I don't care. I can take you to the... Well, I'm going to take you there on Tuesday, hopefully, to the fabric shop. But either way. That's a plan. We're hoping it happens. Mm. The quilting store. I guess we can put that in. Our local shop. Yep. Yeah. All right, I got my first one. First combo together. Yep, that actually looks really good. You wanna check my points, Mom? Oh, I don't need to check nothing. I'm pretty sure you got it. Look at, look at how great you did, look. Considering this was like, it's Go been, show the audience. It's been it's, a long time since yes. she's sewed. Yeah, it's actually, yes. so, I'm actually quite surprised. You've done well. So, they line she up. She nested all of her seams very beautifully. This one's a little iffy, but like most of them are pretty good for my first time in a long time doing seams. I'm actually kind of happy about this. <laughs> I'm happy that you were able to do it on that cheesy little brother machine. Oh, 
<laughs> I can't call it cheesy because it's lasted six years now. So we'll flip this over. That looks not very great. Let me try a different one. <laughs> That looks good together. No, see that there's oh, yeah. two greens that match. Oh, I was gonna say this oh, one's one shorter than the other. Grab a, different different one. grab a different row. Oh. Let me flip it again. Let me try it again. The other way. And it's not shorter than the other. Okay, it's the same. You don't want any to match? I mean I don't mind if they match, it's just there's too much match. Okay. So I'm kind of like you have another daughter. Huh? You have another daughter? Yes, I have two daughters and I had two sons. So uh, Maxine <laughs> is my other daughter. We have, uh, she has been on camera before um, with the mommy and me make each other quilt videos. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. It's okay. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Four kiddos. Four crazy kiddos. Four crazy kiddos. <laughs> and they're all so different. So different. And none of them act, walk, talk, or anything like each other. They are complete opposites. I mean, the only thing that they have in common is, like, they drink coffee and stuff and all that. That's it. I messed up one seam, but it will. Me, oh well. It sounds like a sweatshop. Oh, yeah. I actually love, like, it doesn't happen really much because nobody comes over to sew with me, but I love having someone over here sewing with me because my desk is big enough. Like, two more people, well, technically one, because this side has drawers in front of it, but... I mean, my desk, if I didn't have the drawers in here, if I unscrewed them, because they don't really have to be there, is big enough for four people to sit and sew around. Oh, Obviously, guess. this room isn't huge, but I'm, since it's in the center of the room, it makes it, you know, cool for more than one person to sew in here. And I really like having company when I sew. So it gives me someone to talk with or sing to the music with or just, you know, yeah, physically yeah. hang out with. That's why I always tell you guys, anybody ever visit Havasu and you're staying for like a week or two or whatever, you can come over for a day or two and hang out with me and sew with me. She says that, but I try to move here all day, every day. I don't think she won't let me do anything. I can't. I yeah, but can't, you're not uh, sewing with do, me. 
Why would I, I be allowed I to use the sewing so machine if me. I can't do any of the other stuff? I've told you this two million times. If I can't cut the fabric, why would I be able to sew it? I don't want you to cut the If fabric. I can't iron the fabric, why would I be able to sew it? I like cutting the fabric. <laughs> I can't do anything. Why would I be able to use the machine? That's what I don't I tell you. Okay, let's find another one. Let's see how this works. I did a goof on one row, so um. That's fine. <laughs> well, see, those two are the same. See, can't do that. What about this where there's two lights next to each other? That's Is that fine. okay? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. We're essentially just making a quilt top. That's all she's doing. Yeah. He said he went to a quilt convention in Houston, and the building next to it was an anime, and he walked into it by accident, and he says, what kind of quilt show is this? <laughs> I, going into the anime convention. I had to explain to my girlfriend the different, like, the fact that, like, around the same time mm. mom's quilt convention's happening, there are anime conventioning that happens at the same time. Yeah. KatsuCon happens near when your convention happens as well. So I thought it was really funny that it was just like, oh yeah, those just happen. <laughs> Maybe quilters are secret anime fans, and anime fans are secret quilt fans. Yeah. Maybe. They decide it. Yep. <laughs> Tiffy, what's the rotary cutter you use the most? I use my Martelli rotary. <laughs> Cutter, the 45 millimeter. I use to put them in that. Way. Scott put a, put a link. He put a link in there for you. You're air sewing this whole entire thing. You know this, right? I didn't know this. Um, thank you for letting me know. Did you run out of bobbins? No. The pops are broken. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk about how I've been stupid this entire time. <laughs> she, she air sewed almost the whole seam. <laughs> I always check back to make sure I'm not air sewing. You're not going through anything. Yeah, no, it's not coming up. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. I saw someone just as young kid wanted to chase him around the road. <laughs> oh, I guess I know that was so funny. Oh, God. Moved around here. Oh, it's stuck. Yeah, okay. Let me come mm -hmm. fix it. Oh, come on, buddy. All right, watch out. I shall fix. Did you get it? I'm somewhat, but not really. And <laughs> then it got tangled. Is that three is in the head you know, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so sometimes it gets really wrapped around there. And if you just snip the thread a bazillion times yeah. and then grab it with without cutting with the scissors. Okay. And I use them like tweezers. <laughs> be me. Don't mess up. Don't be me, sorry, be mom. Don't mess up and so well, it's sometimes rip. these little machines, if you sew too quick. They'll tangle around that thingy because they're not used to it. That's not meant for that. This is meant to sew slow, honestly. It's meant to be a slow machine for people who want to take time and make their project, not like me, and rush through it. Thank you, Mom. It's important so please. I noticed the machine was sounding weird. It didn't sound like you were running anything. I was like, what the hell is that sound? <laughs> it was uh, me not sewing. <laughs> I 
a camera like Mary lose it. You have a video of taking your Meyer Kelly pitter apart and cleaning it. Yes, there is a my perspective, as in looking down uh, on it, video of how I took the Martelli cutter apart to clean it and to put a new blade in it. That way it's, so you can see how it's done with, as if you were looking at it yourself. It's not anything special. It's an older video, but at least shows a little bit of whatever. Those two are the same. I have a few that, like, there's some, like, that are two down that are the same, and I'm not as upset about it as those are not the same, so that can go that way. Uh, you would type it into the search bar or go on my channel and uh, go under videos and it's like five years ago. <laughs> You're really going to scroll. Um, just type in how to change the Martelli rotary cutter blade. I don't know what the exact video is called. And if one of my moderators wants to go find it real quick and put a link in the chat, then that would be great. But Scott doesn't know how to do that stuff. Nope, still. he would have done it. Or he would have done it. He still doesn't know how to do that stuff. He just knows how to chat with you guys. That's it. But it's there, somewhere in my videos. I know my most watched videos, like there's one that's at almost 400,000. Uh, those kind of tend to pop up first for people under recommended videos. That's so because they're watched all the time. Yeah, that's why some of my videos you guys don't even know exist. But there are a lot of videos on my channel with a lot of fun stuff. I'm actually very much in love with this right now. <laughs> so when this goes down, this one will go up. No, that won't work. I gotta keep, stop putting a white at the end. Do it if you flip it. It's not working on either side. It's too close to all of them. Do you want one of mine? Yeah, swap me if it doesn't have a Can white one. Yeah. Oh, is there <laughs> ribbon for that quilt? Uh, no, that ribbon is that ribbon goes with a, a giant king size quilt that does not hang on a wall. So I just hung it with all my other awards on that. That's mainly where I hang my ribbons over there on that side of the wall. So it's not for that. I never entered that quilt that's hanging there. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Free falling. Thank you so much. That Wow. Very generous. Thank you. Super, super. Thank you. Okay. I'm lamp and I'm going to No, I am not. Those are not the same, are they? Are those the same? No, they're not. They just look similar, but they're not. Is no, they're okay? not. Yep, that's fine. They just looked the same. That's why I kind of like when I was 
like mixing the colors together, I was like, if it's two greens next to each other, I'm not as upset. If it's two browns, as long as it's not identical browns. And then like right here, see how these are like the same brown? I yeah, I have the, a couple of those on here already. Yeah. I'm not as upset. Because of the order that you put everything in, you said try to keep it in order, but then they're all the same. You were stacking light, dark, light, the way that it was, they were all coming out the same. Yeah. Towards the end, I didn't care as much. I just like, as long as there's fabric. Don't there, put a link in for it. Huh? Don't there, put a link in for it. Eric, put a link in for what? The cutter. The, the rotary cutter. cutter. Thank you, Eric. Yeah. Cleaning it. Thank video. you for it. putting my video in there. He found it. Are the Martelli blades circle hole or do they have those cut out spots? The Martelli blades are. Hold on. Are I'll they notched? Grab... I'll grab the one out of the drawer. Hold on. Or are they a circle? Nope, they have no notch. It's just a circle. So here's Martelli's blades right here. It's just a circle, no notches. And then just as examples, um, Ulfa blades. Here's an Ulfa blade as an example. Ulfa blades are just the circle. There's no notches around it. And then... Missouri Star... Missouri Star sells blades. Missouri Star also is just a circle. No notches around it. So it's just a plain little circle in the center. And it actually has a star around their blades. The Missouri Star ones actually have a star. I'm not going to open the package just so you can see the star, but they have a star on their blades. And then I mainly have Ulfa. I don't have any. Um... Here's Fiskars right here. Fiskars, okay. Fiskars do have a circle, but look around that circle. Can you see it? It's got... These weird notches. Let's see if I can hold that up and get it to focus. Block out Alexa. There we go. <laughs> see those notches? So Fiskar's blades do have the notch. So far, none of the other ones do. And then off-brand ones. Cheap little off-brand ones that you get in these little cheapy plastic containers. They do not have the notches on them. So it just depends on the brand. So far, all I have is the Fiskars with the notches, but they fit in the Martelli rotary cutter. Okay. Um, what size do you make your stitches for sewing on binding? For sewing the binding once I top stitch it? Okay, when I... Stitch it onto the back. Before I roll it to the front, I stitch with a 2.5. When I roll it to the front, I stitch it with a 3.0. I like my stitches wider. And then what did you decide to wear to the wedding? I bought a skirt <laughs> to wear to the wedding, but I don't know what to wear with it. I tried on dresses and nothing fits me. I am very surprised. I went like five sizes or more up. And I don't know how that even happened. I was, I'll just go with it. I was a 3.5, okay, in women's. And my top has, that's my bottoms. My top has always been 11, 13, large or bigger, because I do have bigger breasts for a smaller girl. <laughs> but, uh, so I was trying on dresses that were in the 11, 13 range, and they weren't even fitting around my top half. I couldn't move my arms in them. 
And then I was bottom half stuff. I don't even fit seven eight. I'm at eleven thirteen on that. Like I don't know how it happened, but it happened. And that's just weird. All this working out is not changing that. It's not making it any better. So I don't know where the weight is coming from. I I don't feel sick and I don't feel like I'm overeating or anything. So I think it has to do with my my liver. I don't know if I told you guys, but my last um doctor's test, my liver enzymes were sky high, like four times the amount is supposed to be. They were sky high. And the doctor's going he's retesting me in, in December. Yeah, December. And then we'll see, but maybe that has to do with it because I do have a bad gut. So that could be why nothing's probably working properly and it's making me gain weight. I don't know. So nothing's fitting, not even my own clothes. I'm wearing pajamas 90% of the time, which kind of, you know, blows, but I don't go anywhere. So it's okay. <laughs> but when I do want to dress for a wedding, I have nothing. So I bought me a nice purples and purples and black skirt. It's lots of purples. Yeah. And I think you're beautiful. Try, I'm going to try to match it with a black shirt since I wear, other than the quilty room here, I actually wear lots of black. I, I'm, I live in a place that's really hot and I wear black clothes all the time when I actually leave my house. So I have lots of black shirts. So I'll, I'll match a black shirt and call it a day. Oh, wow, Susan, thank you very, very much. You guys don't have to do that. Like, yeah. you don't have to do that. Plus, YouTube takes Thank like you so years. much. We definitely appreciate it. And it'll buy Alexa a coffee tomorrow if she wants a coffee. Because <laughs> <laughs> they went, and Damon and Gabby picked the girls up, uh, Alexa and her girlfriend, and took them for coffee this morning. <laughs> Because do we don't we don't drink coffee, so we don't keep coffee. Either. I just you guys don't have to do that. I just appreciate you guys being here and hanging out and supporting my channel with the thumbs ups and the subscribing and the watching of my videos. I appreciate when you guys binge watch my videos. <laughs> and I love hearing it when you guys email me. So many people email me and I love it. I love reading your guys' emails and the, the stories you tell me and the show the pictures so of the things you're working on. Six so far. I'm at five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at five. Uh, we have to make How those. loose do you want this skirt to be? At I want it to be flowy is the thing. So that's why I'm doing nine... Two panels of nine? Yeah. So 18 around. Yep. Okay. Wait. Yep, that should work. And then... <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I got one way off, but uh, I'm leaving it because it looks like you did it. <laughs> hey! It looks like you did it! <laughs> what do you mean? What do I do? <laughs> what do you what? It's just not right. It Mom, looks like you did it. That's so mean. You're the one that oh. did it. <laughs> He's, He's holding because I usually it pay like attention. You it. <laughs> You're just, just like, yeah, we'll to blame it on the daughter. Seam nesting. It's one of the pieces that had the pinked edges, so it's off because of that, because of the size. So the two pieces that were originally sewn that you put in this pile, the, they weren't because the seam wasn't exact with care. the next piece. I don't care. It's just funny. You make making fun of me <laughs> when you're the one that made the mistake. I'm just being silly. You know I love you. You do. And I love you too, Mom. I'm struggling. Huh? Is it two already? Oh, really? Okay. Well, then we'll sew this on here and then get ready to get off of here. Because actually we need to cut more fabric and sew more rows anyway. No, so. I already paired the rows. Oh. So it's just All right. the finishing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't even see <laughs> We're over two hours. Well, that's what we're talking about. Because we usually try to stay less than two hours. Two hours or under. 
So we're gonna you sew can stay these on, rows as long as on. You want. That's up to you too. Yeah, I'm but I wanna. You know. I just wanna relax. <laughs> Probably the, the goal for Sundays is to two hours or less with you guys and the rest of the time in bed watching TV with Scotty. Anyway, someone came in. So it's oh, it's time. time for a thumpy to get his it's now five time. seconds of fame. Yeah. All of daddy's stuff, making sure that daddy knows he's trying to ruin things. All right, Thumper's gonna come for a visit, my friend. He's gonna come for a kitty cat close up. Say hello, everybody. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. No, you don't want to look at your audience. Say hello. I'm a fat big cat. I'm heavy for mama to even pick up. Huh. Huh. Look at you. Yes. No, we don't change times here in Arizona. See, get your sissy. It is 7.15 right now. Yep, we don't change time here. So you guys have a different time than us. And you changed yours. And we didn't. Arizona hasn't done... Never time changed. They, they did get... it for, I think, a month. And then realized that electricity bills went up because people were turning on their ACs an hour earlier. Yeah. So then they decided, yeah, let's not. Because <laughs> waking people up an hour earlier just cost them more. What is that? They haven't done it. So. Not that I've I lived here since I was eleven. They haven't done it. <laughs> no, it was far before that. It oh, was, okay. I think in the fifties or sixties, they were like, "That's oh. not a good idea." Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I learned that in. Hey, school. what are you eating over there? Hummus with cat. There's an Indian reservation somewhere in the middle of the state that does change. So you can actually go in Arizona to the reservation, change time, then back to Ar normal Arizona, change back, then into New Mexico and change again. This yeah. one. So yes, you can change times like four, three, four times in one hour drive. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool though. Because there is a reservation that changes. Lexa, right. where are you from again, they asked. I live in Tennessee. Well, where you live, yeah. Far eastern from. Tennessee. Uh, I am originally from here, of course. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need two more. Um, I moved about a year and a few months back. September of last year. Yep. Yeah, she's been there all of this year and moved there in September of last year to Tennessee. But she's grew up here where we live in Havasu. How many rows do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So that's fine. Two more each. Or as long as we get nine, but this will be number eight for me. So I'll just okay. get one. Well, I'm not that. piecing no more. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves off of this online thing. All right. And we'll work on whatever else on our own. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So, is there any questions or anything before we get off of here? Well, Thumper coming on kind of. Everybody says hi to him. Oh yeah. So it's hard to see. Yeah. So Thumper, hello. Yeah. Yes, Thumper they is, all say hello. Thumper is very much loved. <laughs> he steals the show. Yep. And if he's not seen, they ask. Everybody wants to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Eric asked if it's changed. Some people will change times. We went to that. Why did you move to Tennessee? Um, there's two stories to that, but the easiest and nicest story is college. I'm excited for college. She moved because she wanted to go away, get away from me. Yeah, oh. there you go. Because I was begging her all the time. Come on, Lexa, come over after work. Come sew with me. Come That's hang out with me. Truth, come on, you know. Lexa. That should be the truth. <laughs> Are you going to quilt hearts on Chasing Rainbows? Uh, right no, 
I still don't know what I'm quilting on Chasing Rainbows. It's the next to be loaded, though, but I yes. don't know what I'm quilting on it. Uh, we still, I... Many, many people want to buy it, so it's going to get done. So we can see if anybody will buy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's one of those quilts that's got me... Genuinely stumped? Stumped. I, I don't have a computerized machine, so I can't press a button and do rainbows all over the whole thing. And I have looked at all the uh, rainbow-themed... Um, pantographs and none of them look like anything I want to buy and then I found well, don't run the machine yet I found the most amazing pantograph ever that I want to get and it's a sugar skull now that would look cool in variegated thread on the top of that quilt problem is is it's a pantograph and I have to line it up and I have to run variegated thread through the long arm which it doesn't like so I don't know why it doesn't like it, but it doesn't like it. So yeah, that's out of the question. But no, my other option was rainbows. And I did a couple like doodles and drew and drew. And none of it looks right, honestly, at all. Um, the Baptist fan, like if I had a computerized machine and can press a button, a Baptist fan would look awesome. I've never done the Baptist fan. I've never been able to take that back. I've never been able to do a Baptist fan on the long arm. And get it to line up right on that next row. It always lands wrong on free motioning it. It doesn't land right. So every time I do it, it turns out wrong. So that's why I don't ever do that free motion because it doesn't turn out right. It looks better if a computer does it. Um, but yeah, I thought about just doing spirals in the white section only and not any quilting in the um, chevrons. I mean, I've been all over the place with what to quilt on it, and I just don't know, so. Are you going to film any of the wedding? Am I going to what? Film any of the wedding, I'm sure. That's um, nice. Yeah, some of the wedding will be filmed, but I don't no, know. Um, I, not on live stream. No. There's going to be no live streaming of the wedding, though. No, that's no. a fair ass. No, I'm just probably going to set up my Canon camera in the background and just let it film the whole thing. That's about it. But I have to actually charge those batteries if I'm even going to try that. <laughs> Um, anything else? No, okay. No, mainly I'll probably share a picture or two of the wedding, obviously, so you guys can see Gabby's dress and Damon all dressed up in a tux. I'll probably share that on my community tab for those of you um, on YouTube to see if you don't use Facebook, and then there'll be pictures shared and probably shared on my personal Facebook page, and then I'll share that to the group. So... That's about it. That's all I got. There you go. Stars and clouds. I agree Stars with that. and clouds. Stars and clouds. I, I liked the cloud one. I drew up a little cloud one. I saved it to my phone. I took a picture and saved it to my phone. I draw on a whiteboard and then take a picture and save the idea. Um, all right. Is that it? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Thank you all for hanging out with Alexa and I. I can't and see the button. Obviously, you won't see her for another long time until next time. So... Love y'all. Thank you for hanging out. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. I can't see the button. Oh, that's okay. We'll just press it over here. <laughs> Say bye, Alexa. Oh, you're hitting the wrong things anyway. Say bye. Bye.